Hello again and greetings from Austria here in Salzburg. I try to show you the functionality and the workflow of my sewer object. Uh, I have here this. And I try to make a sewer for this building. Here is my object. If you put it in the drawing, you can put this away. And if you alter something like this, you see what happens here. If I want to have more sections, I can draw here. Maybe I should go a little... Okay, this is a part of the polygon. If I draw here, I, got, I get more numbers to draw for my sewer. And the rollout section here, I can put anywhere and all is stick together. So if I give this here, it alters the measures of here. You can draw each point and you can draw the text of each point. You can draw if you want to have a shaft or not. The text is still available. And you can draw the diameters of the shaft. You see the direction of the sewer. You can not only draw, you can put in numbers. Here I have a shaft array with uh, two meters diameter. And if I want to make one, I can do it direct in the drawing here. So I gave the points exact to the points I want. So now I can go through to 3D. Uh, I have to take this. And now I have to give it a little in the set axis because I've programmed it not so far. Okay. So there's a set of set I can uh, alter the height of all my 3D elements uh, not connected directly to the polygon. So I can draw the polygon without any interference of the other 3D elements. Okay, and here is a switch that I can draw. The Z, now it's on, now it's off. So I put it to on, and now I can uh, draw the Z points exact to the positions. Um, okay, <laughs> not so easy. Do it the other way around. I have stop stop go back I have to do it down or oh, not up it was a fault because I'm not so used to my <laughs> to my thing at all now but I will show what I mean so this is on Okay, I have to translate it. Okay, that should do, yes. 
here I have no point, so I take this set. This one. This one. So you see I can take the points in 3D from my other elements in 3D. Okay. Now I go down with my set offset. And now all my shafts are in the correct height to the faces of this element. So go back to the ground. Okay. Here you see these are the set points. Give it a little down. But I can change the drawings. If I have uh, rotated somewhat something, I could rotate this I can bring this wherever I want. So make it not so high. And this is the level for my building. Sea level. I can make sea level or not, I can make it so to zero and it shows me from three level or from zero. So I can bring this drawing down a little bit so it's nearer as I want. It does not alter the measures here. I can draw every single column and here you can do a bit more. It's only meters now. Uh, first I can make differences between in and out of the shafts just by drawing. Then I can uh, switch between self-drawn points and uh, pre... how do you call it? My English is runaway. <laughs> uh, this thing is a uh, preset. But if I draw on this, the preset is switched off and I could, can draw all like I want. And the scale factor in X is now 1 to 500 and in Y it's 1 to 100. So it gives me a very short drawing of this. I don't need much paper for the rollout section here. So, what can I do else? I can draw on this and the shaft is gone. Or it, it's here again. I can draw on this and you see the diameter of the sewer is to change, but I can put in numbers. Uh, this was all. This is uh, here. For thicker sewers. If I have a preset for. Hmm, this one, 
I can draw on it here. And it's all put together. If I change something, the rest goes with me. So, let's have a look in 3D. I've altered it in my rollout section. And you see, it follows the surface of the ground. So, if I want to make another sewer, I can copy this. Take this to here. To here maybe. Not so many segments. No shaft, uh, a little bit, no shaft here. I can uh, bend on the angle of the text, this text. If I want to make a difference. So you see, all texts can be put away to other. This I have to do. It's now just in the middle, but I want to make it draggable. So, now this thing. I can put it here and here. And now, I just have to make the height of this point. This point is the same. This point. No, no. I have to make it in 3D. Okay. can drag this like that. Now the heights of the ground are here. And now I can draw as I want, like shown before. Okay. Okay, it was default. So okay. Now you can see the system is following it. Now I show you it's all sticked, can be sticked together. Okay, this one is not okay, it has to be here. This one goes to here, and so I can draw section after section. You get the table with all measurements, stationing, length between, this vocabulary I don't know, diameters, material, all you want. And this interface texts 
can be switched off. Also this arrows to get a nice drawing. It's still a lot to do to make it more professional, but I think you get the idea of it. Thank you for listening and thank you for looking at my new elements. <laughs>